Hey, beloved family. Hello, Brad. Welcome back to the channel. So I'm not coming on to give you a word, a teaching word today. But what I am doing is coming on to give you something that is equally as important. The Lord wants this to go out. So what this video is about is all the witnesses that the Lord has been using to get the point across that the bride must be sanctified. She must have her sight restored. She cannot be a house divided. She cannot be double-minded. He has to take the key of David and turn her right upright, making both eyes single, full of his light from Matthew and Luke 11. The double emphasis. The word gave the word. The Lord gave the word signs and he's still confirming that word. I'll be going over that. I'm going to share everything that I could find today on short notice, which is a lot of all the confirmations through all the many witnesses to prove the way the Lord does things and how there is an order to it. And there are many witnesses to his truth. And all the words that he has taught in the Restored Sight playlist. Grace and Truth, 119911. Always forget to turn that off. Truth, 119911, which goes with, as we learned, the, the triple helix research and how they're trying to turn themselves into cedars again. I turned it off. So, I shared that a couple words ago. Can't remember the name of it. There's over a hundred now, family. Um, so, Jonathan Clack. He is in the Philadelphia church. He is one of the bride members. He has been teaching about the serpent seed race for a long time he has been explaining the scriptures that the Lord himself taught him about how we are walking curses the left eye tethered to the pit of hell the right eye tethered to heaven double minded and divided houses until it's broken the Lord raised up Casey and I to give these teachings as a merciful last call to become sanctified and be the bride. But he's using us also to testify and confirm Jonathan Cleck and thereby confirming each other. And I'm going to share more on those witnesses. Another anointed watchman from the tribe of Simeon Jonathan's from Simeon Richard is from Simeon Casey's from Simeon I'm from Dan and all of this matters because when you learn your tribe you learn your anointing as the Lord has been teaching us Richard is anoint an anointed watchman you have to be anointed to be called for the job the Lord has downloaded a lot of understanding to our brother Richard Montebleu about the DNA and the triple fish, the 153 fish, and all that he has taught on his channel and that we are the tree of knowledge of good and evil, walking curses until it's broken. The deeper meanings to the scriptures, and you have to have your sight restored to understand these truths. That's why the betwixt are not understanding it. And they won't understand it probably until the bride leaves. But the point of all of this is to prove out the witnesses to all this truth. So Jonathan and Richard, this channel 
the Lord has helped decode the pyramids and the, the keys to the restored site, Jesus Christ channel, which is confirming Richard and which is confirming Jonathan. The Lord takes the key of David and turns us right. Those who sell their souls become double downers, both eyes down. Our eyes go up, theirs go down, and then you hide the in-between who are betwixt, double-minded. All the numbers we recognize, this channel has decoded through the Lord showing them. Witness number three, Jesus Christ channel. Casey and I, that's five. The animals are testifying. And I'll show you more about that at the end. But I told you how the Lord used the bird to come and yell at me at exactly 7.26 p.m. For Harpato to let me know that my white raccoon was coming to feed. White for purity, the bride of Christ. And how he's an albino and he is having issues with his eyes. As symbolism for how both eyes have to be made single. I'll show you more on that at the end of the testimony of the animals. This is the diagram, the twin system of good and evil, the left eye, the evil eye, the right eye tethered to heaven until the key of David is used by the Lord Jesus Christ, making both eyes single, full of his light. And then Father weighs you out and puts you on the rock. You are fully sanctified and made the bride of Christ sealed, ready to go. Believing the gospel, the promise of the Holy Spirit, is the earnest of the Holy Spirit. It's the down payment. The only way to be in the presence of holiness is to be completely sanctified. Eternal life does not mean you get admission into the heavenly realm eternal life can be on earth as well and it's shown in the scriptures it's shown in the letters written to the churches so family the lord has taught us the representation of the bees is very spiritual and what it means and how it's connected to restored sight when Jonathan tasted of the honey and his eyes became enlightened, King Saul's son. It also has connections with Samson and how he got the honey out of the lion. And we know that the Lord is the lion of Judah and he restores the sight. And Samson, his eyes was put out and he stood between the two pillars and the pillars represent us as the temple and the divided houses, right? And the Lord being in the midst. And, I mean, it's all in the scriptures. So, family, more witnesses to this truth is others being shown the bees. And I made a note also of 553, which is related to judgment, and 223, which is the flame of God and how you must have the fire baptism as part of being sanctified. This brother also had two dreams of a red door. And the bride goes through the red door. And is placed on the rock fully sanctified. Now family, some of the people I'll be sharing as witnesses are still betwixt. And some are the bride of Christ. The Lord can use both. He is trying to warn the betwixt, well at least he was, to show them this truth because he was calling them to be bride and many didn't answer the call, but still yet they are witnesses. So I'm going to talk about the beehive cluster as well. The Lord first brought it to my attention through hourly watch. 
how Mars is in the Beehive cluster right now today. And Mars represents war. And we know the war is happening, you know, in the spirit but with the betwixt the curse is choking and people are running out of time this isn't just war between countries this is a war going on and time running out on people because they failed to get sanctified Casey also said the Lord said he keeps saying sanctification for crowns no sanctification no crowns no entry in Hourly watch, 3323, three. means the anointed one. 3323 three on the solar flare, sunspots. Okay, we know the bride cannot be spotted, right? She has to be fully sanctified. And these numbers, 321, 319, which means the end. I know that because that's actually my birthday. The Lord showed me all of this, family, so I could connect all these dots for you. He showed me the 3319, which is on the sun um, sunspot chart that Hourly Watch was sharing. But in the comments was 3319 and the number 508, which means the upper room. And this entire time, those who were still betwixt, the Lord was trying to dance them to the upper room to become fully sanctified, speeding up the process. This is how all this began back in November. You see the number correlations. And this is also how the Lord showed me our brother at Hourly Watch is part of the bride. He confirmed it this way. Mars and the Beehive see them together on June 1st and 2nd. The Beehive is all about the site. The Lord has been warning over and over through different brethren about these bees and he taught on it. Jonathan has been talking about the spiritual site and the connections to the bees for years. Also, the moon was in the stomach of Virgo for the sign of the man-child, the pregnancy, right? Pregnant, the moon. And Esther has been connected as well. And we know the bride is the symbolism for Esther, hidden. The bride is hidden like Esther. And Hourly Watch was sharing all this. Um, this will be on the 4th. There will be three queens... Right above Orion, Esther, Cleopatra, and Athamantus. And the sun is in Taurus. And Orion is pointing right at these three queens. The Lord is, the heavens are declaring his glory and declaring his truth. Another witness, Michelle, Casey's co worker, she didn't even see. The video about the sign is how it's titled, sign. She didn't see the teaching given called sign, the last one. But over the weekend, the Lord was showing her things, pointing to signs. Michelle's odd message, it's Jesus for sure. It says 55 block of 5th and ERR Street, and there's a dead end sign. And a very strange bright light, bright white light in the pic that Michelle had sent. And you can see the street signs in the dead end and just the way the Lord speaks and how he connects confirmations through other brothers and sisters with the signs for the word that he gave through Casey. Family, I had also shared how the Lord was showing me bicycles and motorcycles and how it connects to the wheel, the wheel of the eyes, Ezekiel's wheel, and also Satan's counterfeit, the kilopoth, and how it's running out on the betwixt, 
and this truck, white truck drove by. And there's another point to this. As I was taking the picture and I couldn't see in white, we know it was for purity of the bride. And this gentleman with this motorcycle was wearing a green shirt. This shirt, this green has two applications. Okay? And the wheel. There's a paradox. The good and the evil. Satan's paradox for the green is the serpent seed race. The color green. Which Jonathan has been sharing. Okay, and I'm going to connect another dot here. That's why I'm showing you. And it, the wheels represent the time running out the clock, the countdown. The Lord put this in my feed right before I came on. The final countdown, it has begun. And look right here, family. 2-2-2-2-2. So 2-2-2 for the flame of God. And Isaiah 22-22. I'll show you that in a minute. So, Kim Fisher's little boy has been saying, be awake and be ready for a long time and to be looking up. And look up means to regain your sight, restored sight, breaking the curse, making both eyes full of God's light. And Kim was sharing Isaiah 22, 22 a month ago. And I believe she meant to put 22, 2. But there are no coincidences, family. And we know Revelation 3, 7, And to the angel of the church in Philadelphia write, These things saith he that is holy, he that is true, he that hath the key of David, he that openeth, and no man shutteth, and shutteth, and no man openeth. Isaiah 22, 22, And the key of the house of David will I lay upon his shoulder, so he shall open, and none shall shut, and he shall shut, and none shall open. The key of David. The bees. The spiritual vision. Another witness is Kim herself, who has been getting visions of honeybees for a long time. This is the Lord's way of warning, trying to show people and use them to confirm the truth. And here she was also sharing the beehive cluster and Mars, be a ready, be a watching, which is what her little boy Skylar says, which is about the sanctification of the bride with, with the vision, and I can't say that enough. Also, Michelle sent this to Casey. He did give me a Michelle message. As Michelle got this spare tire cover watercolor. And I just explained the tires represent the wheel of the eye. And it has the life on it. Okay. And the Lord is the way, the truth, and the life. As I was reading that and got to the part of I am truth, I remembered what else I saw this morning. This is just more Connect the Dots family. And the Lord dropped this in Casey's feet from Snickers. One, two, three. Look at the thumbnail he chose to use about the DNA. And I had mentioned the color green for the serpent seed race. This is another witness. Snickers, one, two, three. He was given a dream of zombies in the Great Tribulation. They were in a base underground. And it was a woman. She had green pupils, black eyes. Serpent eyes. And her veins were glowing green. Connect the dots with the green family. The paradox of the green. It's immortality and new life. On the right and on the left, it's the serpent seed death. Confirming all of us again. Oh, and 123321. Right? Snickers 123. I'm going to back up a little bit. Seven months ago, back in November, was when all this began when the Lord sent Casey to me to pair us up to be witnesses. Roche at one, Romo 10 was being given all these dreams and visions connecting to the 12 tribes with, with, the, sh with the ship. Um, which represents one of the tribes 
I forget which one. And and other things that she was shown, like uh, the Ark of the Covenant. Um, I can't remember right off, but the butterfly family has been the big part of all of this. The butterfly represents the canker worm, the locust that feeds on the soul until the until the Lord takes the key of David and turns you right. And the Lord says he will restore the years that the locusts have eaten. This thing is feeding, it's eating, it is the vile curse that's in every single one of us. He was using Roche through the dreams right at the very beginning to show us what was going on in the heavens and, and connect all the dots uh, to these clusters and these eyes of God, all these nebulas pointing to the eyes, pointing to the eyes. And she has one, two, three, three, two, one subscribers in her feed because I just went and, or in her, yeah, it is today. I went and got this shot today. And here you can see different videos. And he gave her the one with the doves. And they landed on the forehead. And the Lord was showing the eyes. They have, you have to be fully sanctified. Okay, I'm looking, some of these are in German. But this is just another witness. Most, some of these witnesses have no idea what they're being shown. Okay, but with the discernment the Lord has given me, I know what he's saying through these brethren. He's connecting all these dots. He was showing us the curse back then. He was also using man-child ministries. The eye of God. He was connecting all of the dreams to the, to the heavens and what was going on. And how the bride had to go through the mikvah, which is the sanctification process. And the dance, dancing us to the upper room. There was a lot going on between different channels at the time. And all stand as witnesses, whether they fell off or not. I am not endorsing man-child ministries anymore. The Lord specifically said, do not watch anyone through Sister Casey, Lord's words, do not watch anyone who says that I am Adam Almighty or Man Almighty. Disregarding the deity of Christ Jesus. But I'm sharing it because it still stands as a witness for the eyes and the sanctification and the dreams that he connected and the butterfly for the curse. And it's blue. Blue is down. Red is up for the blood. Red is right. Blue is left. Down. Another witness. Vicki. From Prophetic Dreams and Visions from my lovely Jesus. Four months ago, she was given a word called Rachel Weeps in the Darkness. In this word... Two witnesses were in it. And these two witnesses was representing myself and Casey. Not the two witnesses of Revelation. And then I had spoken on it that the Lord was showing me the wild olive branch. Um, and how, you know, Gentile witnesses and all of that. Rachel is the church. And Leah is Israel. Everybody, because the first is last, the last is first. Rachel weeps in the darkness. This word was confirming everything the Lord was beginning to do with the teachings through Casey and myself. There's also an 11 and 8 in her subscribers right now, which is for the fingerprint of God. 116 was the date on this and the Lord has put that in his words 116611 two weeks ago she was given the dream about the curse and also one of the characters in the dream specifically her name was Casey Vicki was given a dream the soul leechers which is about the curse feeding on the soul. The locust feeding on the soul until it's broken. 
my church, my children, and my bride. I'm sharing this one because it makes a distinction between the church and the bride. Wake up, old oh sleeper. Four months ago. This had lots of confirmations in it for Jonathan and this channel as well. Both eyes have to be turned up. Wake up. Be awake. Fully awake. Sanctified. Another witness is Jeff Byerly. Jeff Byerly's been given many words making the di distinction between the body of Christ and the bride of Christ and the sanctification. He was also given the fiery kickoff event, which is a witness to the same prophetic utterance that Jonathan Cleck was given about Manhattan and New York and what's coming there with the flood, with the Poseidon missile. For America, by America. With one, two, three, three, two, one. <laughs> Another witness. Open the eyes of your heart channel. Special prophetic message from Father to Chosen. The bride is chosen and called and faithful. And it has one, two, three, three, two, one for his minutes for the video. And that actually stopped on 19 seconds, which is connected to Jonathan as well for the sleep or sleep. Sheep slaughter, number 19 means slaughter in Strong's. The sheep slaughter with the vid 19. This is the way I see with my sight. That's why I point these things out. These numbers is how the Lord speaks to me. This brother, also, key to escape. Do you have the key to escape? This brother understands sanctification. The number 319 was on his views, which means the end. The key of David. Just today. And the Lord put this in my feed so that I would see it and I would share it. Prophetic warning. For hearts at rest. And the Lord just spoke in the word sign. For those who are resting and once saved, always saved, it costs you big time. This brother is confirming the word. For hearts at rest, the Lord said they're going nowhere and will be stuck in the wilderness. They are cursed to death and... will experience judgment. The bride escapes first. There will be another escape. That's why another thing the Vicky has been giving these words the three days of darkness. The three days of darkness is three years. It's half of Jacob's trouble. And there will be a second escape after the three year mark. Three days of darkness for the body of Christ. These words have been coming out from Vicky for a long time. It's a warning to those that did not get sanctified. You can go listen to his word. He was also saying the enemy on the enemy. I see them on the enemy's side, and they will be expo uh, exposed. Excuse me. Got tongue twisted. So, when the curse is still feeding and the time is running out on the kilopot, the clock, and, and the Lord shared that the cords were loosened on the bride and tightened on all those that did not get sanctified, that curse is feeding, it's choking, and the enemy will and can take over some of them. They can assimilate. He's made that clear, dependent on their walk, on the enemy the enemy's side and they will be exposed there will be a transfer for those at rest in their heart we're supposed to be awake not at rest fully awake spiritually sanctified eyes made single Blessed Hope 117, two weeks ago, I kept 
waking up throughout the night hearing this verse. There is a way that seems right to a man, but its end is the way of death. The Lord's been warning the once saved, always saved. He specifically mentioned it, mentioned it in the Word. I said the animals testify. The Lord uses animals to speak to me all the time, sometimes to warn me, sometimes to confirm. You know, if I'm not moving fast enough or I'm going the wrong direction, he'll bark a dog at me sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> you know okay this sister had had snakes in her yard twice snakes are judgment the warnings are over the judgment has been decreed you didn't get sanctified these things are made public that's why I'm sharing them publicly this is not the enemy the Lord made it clear he has been doing all the warning, but the body of Christ is not listening. Another witness, Carrie Christ follower. She was given the dream about the drones. Two people were turned into one, like a hybrid. I'd already shared this, but I'm sharing it again. This is a witness to the curse. Two people, twin, good and evil. You have to be made right, turned right. Ephesians 2, For he is our peace, who has made both one, and hath broken down the middle wall of partition between us, having abolished in his flesh the enmity, even the law of commandments contained in ordinances, for to make in himself of twain, of two, of two, one new man, so making peace, turning the left, right, upright, like Jonathan has been sharing for years. This dream is another witness. The drones represent the locust. And I want to share two months ago, Carrie was sharing that she was given a dream about trees being down. And then she said, I heard a crack and looked outside. The high winds had blown down this tree. This was a warning. The scriptures are clear. The trees that do not produce fruit will be ripped up by the roots. These things testify to the warnings, and, the con and they confirm the words that the Lord speaks. He's been trying to warn. And what He is showing them, whether they understand it or not, confirms the truth of restored sight. Another witness, the Bible architecture. The lawless, the bride first. I will come to take my bride. For those who listened and follow my word. The call went out, the bidden parable. He sent the servant out three times to call people in. Seventy times seven, one eye, the one sheep. The eye, make both eyes single. The Lord left the 99 to go and get the one bride. The lion, the bees, the marine kingdom. The blue-blooded marine kingdom. Blue down, left up. The Lord has spoke about the blue bloods. Those still under the curse are the blue bloods. Some are double down already. The lion, the bees. More about the honey, the restored sight, and the marine kingdom confirming all that Richard Montablu and Jonathan and the Lord himself through Sister Casey and using me as a witness to confirm. And he gives me messages for every word that Casey gets to confirm it to me. All these witnesses. Again, whether they know it or not. It still confirms all that the Lord has been showing about the Philadelphia church and the bride all these years. Motorcycle. <laughs> the 99, a Galilean wedding, the final call. 
the bidding, the final call. It was back in September, I believe, when Sister Allison from Jesus is Lord had the dream with, with me in it. We were together in her dream, and the final call went out. The Lord showed me the final call, put me in her dream to confirm each other. At the time, we thought that meant the final call had already went out, but he was showing us ahead of time that he was going to do a final call with the bid and parable. And then it was just shortly after he sent Casey. The peacock. <laughs> okay. And the peacock is part of one of the 12 tribes. The ostrich, the peacock, both. Okay. Connect the dots. Another witness. Narrow Road 79K. This sister has been given several words to confirm what the Lord has done on this channel about being a divided house that cannot stand and double-mindedness. My sheep have been scattered by worthless shepherds. The Lord has spoken on this. Children of God, listen up. This is for you. You must be holy as I am holy. Sanctified. You must be born again to enter my kingdom fully converted to enter the kingdom holy sanctified and there's a horn that's the Lord <laughs> and here she's speaking about it's better to enter heaven with one eye okay if you're uh, flee lustful passions if your eye causes you to sin gouge it out Okay, it's about the restored sight. And the Lord made double emphasis in Matthew and Luke both. Make sure there is no part dark. Both eyes must be made single, full of his light, sanctified, baptized by fire, put on the rock. And then it's done. I'm coming back for a bride without stain or spot. So family, the animals testify. I had already shared that the Lord will send me my big old bumblebee when he's getting my attention or he's wanting to confirm or just have me to have it for these kind of reasons, purposes for confirmation. If you look, this was on May 27th. I caught it at 2.20 p.m., which is 22 and, um, you know, the bee came in, just landed on the window. I had shared about the little sparrow. The Lord had come and start just chirping away. To send me a message. These birds usually fly away if I go to the window when they're on this line. He sent a bird in my house. We're about to fly, right? Okay, and I told you he sends me the bird, a blue bird, to, to yell at me, to let me know if one of my feral cats that I feed is outside or my raccoon, okay? So check it out. This time he sent three bluebirds. One will be on the line and two in the tree. Uh, I'll show you the date on this. 
May 25th. The animals, they testify, family. If snakes are coming in your yard, you've been judged. If you're getting bees, the Lord's been trying to warn you. Whatever it is, there's a reason for it. That's what I'm saying. And the Lord uses animals with Jonathan as well. And I hope everyone understands now. How the order of things works. How you must be anointed through certain tribes to be his witnesses. And we stand for his courts of heaven. For his glory. For what he says is truth. Not what man and man's doctrines say are truth. So this video is to confirm everything he's done up until this point. On this channel. And Casey. And Richard. And Jonathan. And all the people who are teaching the sanctification. I hope this blessed you and encouraged you. He's coming very soon. I love you guys. Hopefully I'll see you in the air. <laughs> before I come back, right? <laughs> Alright. Talk soon.